Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with another modeling video. Today we'll be doing a bit of a mental build, a quick project just for fun, something a bit silly when uh, the stresses of life hits, you're doing a few competitions, a few serious business models, you want to do something that's silly. And I'm a big fan of um, quick builds, I'm a big fan of Mecha Masume and I thought I'll do something that's a bit outside of what I usually do, might learn a few new things and I uh, just keep exploring uh, the works of uh, Fumikane Shimeda, the uh, gentleman who did the Strike Witches in the uh, original Konami uh, toy line and uh, picking up this uh, Sega very cheap $10 figure from uh, Macross we're going to disguise the face, make the character its own and just um, see how far we can push it so far we know with most of these anime characters, uh, the only difference is the eyes, the hair, any accessories on the head, maybe the ears. I do dig the elf-ish ears. Uh, the eyes can be repainted or utilised. I'm going to cut elements of the hair off, recolour it, cover the mouth and repaint the eyes. Uh, with some costume changes, armour bits added, it's a completely unique character. It was a lot of fun utilizing a bit of a tank suspension and road wheels from a World War II German armored car to make a respirator. A bit of sculpting putty was also used. Just came out absolutely uh, perfect. The seams of the uh, body is being glued and filled. Uh, may as well make it nude with um, armor covering body parts. Then digging deep into the bits box, not my bits box, the club one, discarded parts that people definitely do not care or want, no longer from old models, military stuff, just whatever that's junked and abandoned, and seeing where pieces fit and just playing around and experimenting a nice skull from a crossbones, Gundam hands, a lot, lot, lot of Gundam parts, and just start uh, chopping them, resizing them, regluing them, refiling, and uh, disguising them as much as possible to blend in the kit and look like it belongs there. There's an issue called Panzer IV and Outer Space Syndrome where people make uh, model kits or scratch builds of their own unique ideas, and they'll steal parts from a kit and glue it on. But the people that are familiar with the machine, the tank, or the item that's just glued, unmolested, unmodified just stands out and uh, a lot of the Star Wars models from the original series uh, suffers that. The Millennium Falcon has uh, wheels off a Panzer IV on it, thus the term. So a significant amount of effort was put in while cutting back on time. With the padding of the body I utilized uh, a pre-mixed polyester um, bog for automotive cars onto the soft vinyl, sanded it back and hit it with a few coats of uh, automotive primer to cover any imperfections. Uh, magnets were glued in various parts of the body and disguise of putty so that um, armor bits can be stuck all over the body for uh, articulation as well as uh, color separation after painting and packing away and reassembling. The goal is a full society, secret society, uh, girl, World War II, uh, German desert tank. It's going to have symbolism decals all over it, shield, medieval fighting type stuff with guns and armor and all sorts of uh, extra knickknacks like a power armor on the backpack. So a lot of Gundam parts were snapped together, test fitted, magnetized and uh, modified to make uh, power robot armor uh, appear on its back in arms and legs with the uh, large Kubele, um shoulder being a um, shield. A very interesting unique look with paint. Um, it should stand on its own two feet I suppose. Now being a quick project in two weeks, there wasn't a lot of time for refining so we hit it with very uh, coarse sandpaper, hit it with a uh, very thick primer and ran with it. Doing a full paint instead of just uh, recolouring certain aspects, I hit everything with uh, flesh and did some uh, highlights in various points using Guy Note and Mr. Colour uh, character flesh. All the armor bits were painted in World War II-esque German grey or sand or uh, a rushing green colors in a very fun color scheme, playful uh, manner, slight amount of uh, highlighting here and there. Now absolutely freestyling this, problems will occur and once all the base coats were down including uh, hand painting, I did not care too much for the scheme, it looked really weird, unusual, I hated it immediately. 
They definitely decided that with a lot of dusting, some pigments, some washes, we'll uh, dirty it up and make it weathered, uh, battle hardened, uh, trenches, front line look. Uh, be a bit over the top and comic book uh, like with uh, grit and so on and so forth. Even though it's uh, very unlike the style of uh, figure it is. Again, nothing to lose. Went for the neo-Nazi look. Uh, Deckles showing off uh, Third Reich-ish uh, secret society markings all over the place. Lots of uh, dusting, uh, washes, pigment weathering all over the armor, all over the body. Lots of fun with uh, shading and blending and all sorts of things of uh, sand and dirt colors. A bit of uh, black on the soles of the feet and the hands to show, you know, working and mechanic field uh, type stuff. Ton of fun. A few coats of uh, matte and uh, some eye decals from the HIQ part uh, decal sheet. Uh, blended very, very nicely together. The diorama was also a bit of an experiment in a muck around. I uh, glued a terrible failed 3D print on the top that looked like a strange rock, cut up a base, used a ton of putty to shape it up, put some sand down, some PVA glue, sprinkled some crushed eggshells because I just happened to have a container of that nearby as a snail repellent in the garden. And it sort of just shaped up really well, primed it with automotive primer and just uh, sprayed up a storm. For a ton more decals that I found in my giant decal um, sheet collection by buying just random junk from various uh, conventions, model expos, swap and sells for whatever reason. A lot of uh, interesting World War II um, and German decals just fit and snapped, mostly aircraft and giant scale armor stuff. And it just really came together, had a lot of fun. A bit on the offensive side, definitely like the... Uh, Flashlights for tits and um, a knife uh, strap on. It's uh, very crazy. The experiment of um, hiding the mouth, changing and cutting up the hair, changing the color, changing the eyes have just created a new, unrecognizable, original character. Uh, no backstory or anything, can't be bothered going that far. Fitted and put the parts together, even though some of the parts can be recognized with enough uh, modding and coloring. Um, they just blend in and create their own thing the idea was silly it was quite playful two weeks had a lot of fun the gundam bits were just snapped together glued didn't even worry about seam lines or anything just strategically chose the right parts to stick on an already established toy uh, had an absolute uh, ball we'll definitely do it again uh, using magnets and putty to just snap it together and not worry about uh, poly caps or connecting points or pins saves an absolute bucket load of time and it's just a good way of emptying your bits box uh, again the figure was probably a little over ten dollars and uh, what was just a bunch of established things that i had that wouldn't be of much value including the figure turned out to be something that's just quite unique interesting um, i did take it to a hobby show and it was asked to take it off uh, display uh, the themes of it was uh, definitely very offended or offensive um, I'm questioning putting it on any Facebook uh, group. Lucky that this is definitely not something that um, YouTube will kick too much of a stink up. But I uh, definitely picked up and learned things. Not perfect. A lot that I could have done to do a lot better job. If I spent more time, it could have been more interesting. But something that you can't take to shows, you can't enter competitions, you don't want to put too much uh, effort into. But no regrets or fucks given about uh, this build. Um, if you've enjoyed it, not whatever um let us know had a ton of fun we do have um a mecha masume modeling society group on facebook you can join and check out and there's quite a few people building and modifying either the arm frame girls uh, kits or established models or doing their own with uh, toys doing your own with toys is a ton more fun especially the gundam girl stuff uh, definitely check it out and we'd love you guys to join us and have a little fun with just the occasional project